Hello, my name's Laura Trinder and this is Hoggins, the Pocket Hedgehog. And I am the co-creator, along with my friend Benjamin Reed, of the Midnight Hour books. Here they are. And I also draw the pictures that you can find inside these books, so today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Hoggins. I'm going to be drawing on my computer today. That's how I make the illustrations in our books. But you can just follow along with a piece of paper and a pencil. You might want to start by lightly sketching an oval shape to act as a guide for your hedgehog's body. Or you can just skip that and dive right in. We'll start off by drawing a curved line for his forehead and then his nose like this. There we are. Next we'll outline his back with some spikes like this. This is where the oval might come in handy. And then his soft fluffy tummy underneath. Then we'll add a backward C shape for his ear. Some little folds inside. Looks a bit like a capital J. And a nose. And a beady little eye. And I think we'll give him a smile today. There we are, he looks quite cute already, doesn't he? Now we're going to separate his spiky back from his soft face and belly by adding some wispy lines like this. There we are. Now I'm in um, a bit of a scribbly mood today, so let's have some fun and add lots of messy prickles and texture with um, some sketchy lines like this. It can look good if you try to make the lines follow the shape of his round body, like that. But it doesn't really matter. Just have fun. I'm going to speed this bit up, I think, but if you want to pause the video while you add in all your prickles, then feel free to do that and you can take your time. Now he needs some feet. So starting down here in the left corner, bottom left corner, I'm going to add one paw and two paws. And then we'll put one in the back here, just poking out from his fluff. There we go. And then I'll just finish him off with some nice rosy cheeks. And there we are, you have drawn Hoggins the Hedgehog. That was really fun, I hope you had fun too. Um, you might want to colour him in maybe, or draw in a background. Or um, I like to sometimes surround my characters with things that they like, or bits from the story, so here we go. <laughs> Thank you for drawing along with me today, I hope you've had fun, and I hope you have a great week drawing and reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.